Hello everyone, today's video is going to be a showcase of my version of Girl Force Tour. And we are going to see how I would perform it in these two matches I have recorded for this week. As you can notice here, my version requires some very specific tools like Winter Bernadetta and Veloria or Raphael. While Raphael allows you to precharge Moonbow, Veloria allows you to precharge Luna, which is a stronger special, and make sure you're securing one hit KO against most armor units. And now you're going to ask, why not just using Girl for Special on Tor? The reason is simple, I do not believe this is optimal. As right now, the hard counter to Girl Force is obviously near save, especially near save Brave Edelgard, a unit you are going to see, I suspect, quite often in AR defense. And regardless, armor units stack so much defense that even with double hit and effectiveness from Thor's weapon, you may not kill them, especially if they are red. However, with Luna ready, she can easily destroy strong reds such as Idun, Black Knight, and Zelgus. I will obviously show you in the near future some fancy Girl Force plays using ranged units as first attackers, although it is kind of weak against Farsafe, obviously. The point of this video is to show you that even if Thor doesn't get an extra action, and even if your opponent doesn't use near save, you can still perform this girl force as you would do normally. If you were, however, afraid of such a method, remember that thanks to the locking feature, you can use Luna in one slot and girl force in another slot. And with respect to the team I was using in this video, you can notice there is only one girl forcer here, Veloria. This is because Naga was a bonus mythic and I have to use her, otherwise I could use two girl forcers and this would open more options. And in this case, Bernadetta will be the smiter. And now you might also think, why not using girl force regain with quick on pause? After all, attacking with a melee first usually opens many options for multiple melee units to jump in. The reason is because I am concerned of Dual Leaf and Legendary Sigurd that I see very often, and it goes without saying that without Safer Shell, I cannot kill them. This is how much I value Safer Shell. Another unit can use Girl Force, but Safer Shell is unique to Regin. Anyway, regardless of whether you're using Luna or Girl Force Special on Tor, I would suggest trying out Floor Guard at least, as it helps a lot against follow-up denial threats such as Duma, Seros, Brave Vector, and some others. I really think, again, equipping Tor with an offensive special has a lot more potential. Looking at the simulation, Tor kills things she shouldn't be killing, and otherwise impossible without offensive specials. Unfortunately, this week I haven't seen any interesting near safe defense. Hopefully, next time will be more exciting. With this being said, I will see you next time, and again, thanks for listening and watching.